Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. The graphs and charts on the campaign statistics screen give you insight into the effectiveness of every campaign. Understanding how to use and interpret campaign statistics will help you determine the effectiveness of your campaign and guide you as you determine whether you need to make adjustments to improve results. The upper part of campaign statistics shows an activity timeline for your campaign, including changes, campaign state, and a graphical representation of campaign activity. Goals are the primary actions you want visitors to complete when interacting with your various business channels. For example, global goals could include add to cart, downloaded or viewed content, or completed a form, such as a demo request. As mentioned in the previous videos, Goals are built off of segments, so our user completed the goal when they joined a corresponding segment. As a result, goals are typically achieved once, but it is possible for a user to rejoin the segment, accomplishing the goal multiple times. Let's say, for example, you're an insurance carrier and you want to capture every time a user requests a quote. You could have a goal of requests quote today. Then, if a user requests a quote one week later, they join the segment, but leave it the next day. Then a week later, they request another quote. They would join the segment again, so both completions would be captured within the statistics. But let's take a look at how goals can be applied to this retail exit intent campaign. The first experience is only targeting known site visitors with a call to action to create an account which allows them to join the community. In contrast, the second experience is targeting anonymous users with a call to action to sign up for email when navigating away from the site. These experiences both retarget users to keep them on the site, but with different calls to action, which makes comparison more nuanced. However, using a couple different goals, it's possible to extract some additional insight on these campaigns. I'm curious to see if the ultimate goals of these experiences were accomplished beyond just clicks. If I add in the subscribe to newsletter goal, I can see who ultimately signed up for email. And expand the columns to show goal completions and goal completion rate. Notice how users exposed to the email signup experience were significantly more likely to sign up for email than users exposed to the first experience. Seems like the second experience is working as intended. Now, let's see how the results differ when I apply a goal to see which users joined the community. Here, it shows that each experience had a similar number of goal completions. However, notice that there are significantly more impressions for the email signup campaign. This makes sense when looking at the goal completion rate rather than the count. The goal completion rate for the community registration experience is almost four times as likely to result in a user completing the goal of joining the community. This is valuable insight, as seeing results with this much impact with an initial campaign means there's likely room to improve the numbers. Taking this into consideration, a next step could be to try a separate campaign with two different community registration experiences, changing up styling or verbiage to see which one performs better. Remember, even when you see impressive results. Take that as an opportunity to optimize rather than set and forget. Goals have a wide range of uses to drive additional insight, but as stated in other lessons, make sure to outline important KPIs of your business, as goals are not retroactive, so applying a newly created goal to an old campaign will not track results appropriately. For more information, check out the Knowledge Base to access anything about Interaction Studio, where everything is searchable by keyword. You can also sign up for guided in-depth lessons of core functionality at ecampus.evergage.com. To stay up to date with upcoming videos of new capabilities, make sure to like and subscribe.